Hello, young explorers. Welcome to another exciting episode of Fun Animals for Kids, where we journey into the fascinating world of incredible creatures. Today, we're going to discover the amazing secrets of one of nature's most beloved insects, the ladybug. Ladybugs are small but mighty creatures that have captured the imagination of children and adults alike for centuries. These colorful beetles are not just pretty to look at, they're remarkable in so many ways. So let's dive into the wonderful world of ladybugs for kids who love learning about animals. Ladybugs are small insects, usually measuring between 0.03 to 0.7 inches long. Most ladybugs have a distinctive dome-shaped body covered by two hardened wing cases called elytra. These wing cases protect their delicate flying wings underneath. When a ladybug takes flight, it opens these cases like tiny doors to reveal its wings. The most famous trait of ladybugs is their vibrant coloration. While many ladybugs are red with black spots, ladybugs can also be yellow, orange, brown, pink, or even black with red spots. The number of spots on a ladybug can vary too. Some ladybugs have no spots at all, while others can have up to 24 spots. Young explorers, did you know that ladybugs use their bright colors as a warning? The vivid reds and oranges tell predators, I don't taste good, so don't eat me. This is called aposematic coloration, a big word that means warning colors. Ladybugs have been around for millions of years. These ancient beetles first appeared during the Cretaceous period, over 100 million years ago, when dinosaurs still roamed the earth. Can you imagine tiny ladybugs flying around massive dinosaurs? Over time, ladybugs evolved their special traits to help them survive. Their round shape makes it difficult for predators to grab them, and their ability to secrete a bad-tasting fluid helps keep them safe from hungry birds and other animals. There are over 5,000 different species of ladybugs throughout the world. That's a lot of ladybugs with different patterns, colors, and habitats. Scientists who study insects are still discovering new species of ladybugs in remote forests and jungles. Ladybugs are incredible travelers. Some ladybugs migrate long distances when the weather changes. In fact, ladybugs can fly up to 74 miles in a single day when they're migrating to warmer areas for winter. That would be like you running from one city to another in just one day. In some mountains, ladybugs gather by the thousands or even millions during winter. They huddle together in enormous groups called aggregations, creating a sea of red and black spots. Imagine waking up one morning to find millions of ladybugs covering the trees and rocks around you. What an adventure that would be. Throughout history, people have told many stories about ladybugs. In medieval Europe, farmers believed that ladybugs were sent by the Virgin Mary to protect their crops, which is why they're called ladybugs. In many cultures, spotting a ladybug is considered good luck. Ladybugs are some of the most helpful insects for humans especially farmers and gardeners. These tiny beetles are natural pest controllers. A single ladybug can eat up to 5,000 aphids in its lifetime. Aphids are tiny bugs that damage plants by sucking out their juices. Because ladybugs eat so many plant pests, they help protect our food supply. Many farmers release ladybugs into their fields instead of using chemical pesticides. This is a natural way to control harmful insects, making ladybugs true heroes in our gardens. The ecological importance of ladybugs can't be overstated. They help maintain balance in nature by keeping plant-eating insect populations under control. Without ladybugs, certain pests might multiply so quickly that they could destroy entire ecosystems. That's why protecting ladybugs is so important for kids who care about our planet. What do ladybugs eat? These spotted hunters have quite an appetite. Most ladybugs are carnivorous, meaning they eat other animals, specifically, other insects. Their favorite meals include aphids, scale insects, mites, and small caterpillars. Ladybugs are skilled hunters. They use their excellent vision to spot tiny prey on plants. When a ladybug finds an aphid colony, it's like finding a buffet. The ladybug will walk among the aphids, grabbing them one by one with its front legs, and devouring them with its strong mandibles or jaws. Some species of ladybugs also eat pollen, nectar, and fungi. These ladybugs help pollinate plants while they're looking for food, making them even more valuable to our ecosystems. A ladybugs are diurnal insects, which means they're active during the day. They spend their days flying from plant to plant, searching for food and mates. 
At night, ladybugs rest under leaves or in crevices to stay safe from nocturnal predators. How do ladybugs talk to each other? While they don't speak like we do, ladybugs communicate through chemicals called pheromones. These special scents can signal danger, mark territory, or attract mates. When ladybugs feel threatened, they release a bitter-smelling yellow fluid that warns other ladybugs nearby. Ladybugs also communicate through touch and movement. When ladybugs gather in large groups during winter, they use physical contact to share warmth and protect each other from harsh weather. Although their brains are tiny, ladybugs show remarkable intelligence for their size. They can remember locations of good feeding grounds and return to them day after day. Ladybugs can also learn to avoid certain dangers after experiencing them once. Scientists studying ladybugs have discovered that these insects can solve simple problems to reach food. For example, if an obstacle blocks their path to an aphid colony, ladybugs will try different routes until they find a way around it. This kind of adaptive behavior shows that even small creatures like ladybugs have their own form of intelligence. It's one of the many reasons why learning about ladybugs for kids is so fascinating even tiny animals can be smart. The life cycle of a ladybug has four stages, egg larva pupa and adult. Female ladybugs lay clusters of tiny yellow eggs on the undersides of leaves, usually near aphid colonies, so their babies will have food when they hatch. When the eggs hatch after about a week, ladybug larvae emerge. These larvae look nothing like adult ladybugs. They're long, spiny, and often black with orange or yellow markings. Young explorers might mistake them for tiny alligators. Ladybug larvae are voracious eaters, even hungrier than adult ladybugs. A single larva can consume hundreds of aphids as it grows. After feeding for several weeks, the larva attaches itself to a leaf and transforms into a pupa. Inside the pupa, an amazing transformation called metamorphosis takes place. The larva's body completely reorganizes itself, and after about a week, an adult ladybug emerges. The new ladybug's shell is soft and pale at first, but it hardens and develops its bright colors within hours. Ladybugs have developed impressive strategies to survive in a world full of predators. Their first line of defense is their bright coloration, which warns potential predators that they taste terrible. If a predator ignores this warning and tries to eat a ladybug, the beetle has another trick, reflex bleeding. When threatened, ladybugs release drops of foul-smelling toxic blood from their leg joints. This yellow fluid tastes so bad that most predators will immediately spit out the ladybug and avoid ladybugs in the future. Another clever defense is playing dead. When a ladybug feels threatened, it might pull in its legs and fall from a plant appearing lifeless. Once the danger passes, the ladybug comes back to life and flies away to safety. A ladybugs are incredibly adaptable and can be found on every continent except Antarctica. These versatile beetles live in forests, meadows, gardens, agricultural fields, and even deserts. Anywhere plants grow, ladybugs might be found hunting for their insect prey. In North America, ladybugs thrive in diverse environments from the humid forests of the East Coast to the dry grasslands of the Midwest. European ladybugs prefer temperate woodland areas and gardens, while some Asian species have adapted to life in high mountain regions. During summer, ladybugs are often found on plants infested with aphids or other small insects. In winter, depending on the species, ladybugs might hibernate under bark, in leaf litter, or inside buildings. Some ladybugs migrate to warmer areas rather than hibernating. Young explorers, get ready for some amazing ladybug facts. Did you know that the spots on a ladybug fade as it gets older? It's like gray hair for beetles. Another fun fact, Ladybugs can fly at speeds up to 37 miles per hour. That's faster than many birds. One of the oddest behaviors of ladybugs is their winter gatherings. In some regions, thousands of ladybugs crawl to the same location year after year to hibernate together. Scientists aren't entirely sure how ladybugs find these special spots or remember them from year to year. Some ladybugs practice cannibalism. When food is scarce, adult ladybugs might eat ladybug eggs or larvae, even their own species. Nature can be surprising sometimes. Scientists continue to make fascinating discoveries about ladybugs. Recently, researchers found that some ladybugs carry beneficial microbes in their bodies that help them break down tough insect shells and protect them from diseases. Another exciting discovery is that ladybugs might help us develop new antibiotics. 
The blood that ladybugs release when threatened contains powerful antimicrobial compounds that could potentially help fight bacteria that cause human diseases. Despite their defenses, ladybugs face many threats. Habitat loss, pesticide use, and climate change are reducing ladybug populations in many areas. Some native ladybug species have become rare as invasive ladybug species compete with them for food and territory. Young explorers can help protect ladybugs by encouraging their parents to avoid using chemical pesticides in gardens. Creating ladybug-friendly gardens with diverse plants attracts these beneficial insects and provides them with food and shelter. Conservation efforts for ladybugs include citizen science projects where children and adults can help scientists track ladybug populations. By participating in these projects, kids can contribute to real scientific research while learning about these amazing insects. Throughout history, ladybugs have held special meaning in many cultures. In many European countries, ladybugs are considered symbols of good luck, and it's said that if a ladybug lands on you, you should make a wish. In some Asian cultures, ladybugs symbolize joy and good fortune. Many children's songs and nursery rhymes feature ladybugs, making them beloved characters in childhood around the world. Artists, designers, and storytellers continue to be inspired by ladybugs. Their distinctive spotted pattern appears in fashion, home decor, and children's toys. Many educational videos for kids feature ladybug characters because they're so recognizable and appealing to children. Young explorers, we've journeyed through the remarkable world of ladybugs together, discovering how these tiny spotted superheroes play such a vital role in our environment. From their vibrant warning colors to their voracious appetite for garden pests, ladybugs prove that even the smallest creatures can make a tremendous difference in our world. The next time you spot a ladybug in your garden or park, remember all the amazing things these insects do to help keep our planet healthy. They're not just pretty beetles with spots. They're natural pest controllers, important pollinators, and indicators of a healthy ecosystem. Learning about ladybugs for kids is more than just fun. It teaches us about the delicate balance of nature and how every creature, no matter how small, has an important job to do. By understanding and protecting ladybugs, we're helping to preserve the wonderful web of life that supports all of us. We hope this adventure through the world of ladybugs has sparked your curiosity about the natural world. There are so many more amazing animals waiting to be discovered in our learning videos. Whether you're interested in forest animals, ocean creatures, or wildlife for kids, Fun Animals for Kids has educational videos for children of all ages. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube Kids channel, Fun Animals for Kids, for more exciting animal adventures. Share these videos with your friends in kindergarten and school so they can join our community of young explorers too. Remember, the greatest explorers are always curious, always kind, and always ready to learn something new. Until our next adventure together, keep exploring, keep wondering, and keep protecting our amazing animal friends.